hello guys Mess graphics here and today we're going to be creating something um, a little bit different and i've been dropping church flyer tutorials i've been dropping uh, tutorials of me designing a church flyer so i really needed uh, to do something different and today i'm going to be actually creating a manipulation the man with the flaming skull and this manipulation can be used for your movies for your movie designs for your song designs or for anything you need that for so let's get right into it so I'm gonna go click on create new for my size I'm just gonna be using the normal a5 size because um, I'm not sure I'll be needed to print that so I don't need to have an actual size to do that okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place my image the image I'm going to be working with and yeah as you remember as our tradition I always keep my work files my backgrounds and everything I use for a design in the description so check the description to get all the files that I'll be using for this tutorial so the next thing I'm going to do on this image is that I'm going to create an effect um, for example um, for those of us that are Nigerians we actually know that um, there was a time in our lives that we had to actually when we go for village we see our grandparents cook on charcoal so what I'm trying to do here is that I'm trying to create that effect so as the skull is burning you know as it's burning there's going to be some cracks due to maybe some places that the fire has actually got enough so that's what i'm going to try to replicate here i go to my um, my blending options uh, and i'll click on um hard light so i'll create a layer mask then with my brush set to black i'm going to remove some parts of this but first of all let me reduce the opacity so i'll see what i'm actually doing so i'll remove the parts that i don't want the parts that are outside the image and on top of my character's hands okay so i actually have to do this slowly 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 slowly, 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 slowly. slowly. and as you can see we are done with that so the next thing I'm gonna be doing for this is I'm gonna add my um, the color that I want to use here because I want to actually make it uh, look like the flames have gotten that part so much that um, it has actually um, gone off. Okay, create clipping mask. Then uh, for this I'm going to use um, overlay. Uh, okay this is actually looking let me look for another option to use okay let's go with overlay so as you can see it's already looking um, a little bit nice so if I reduce this you can see it's already having that feel the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my flame right here that's the flame right here so I'm going to reduce this to an appropriate size bring it down a little bit then go to this place this option and I'll go for screen as you all know screen I want to use the screen feature it makes the area that has a black background it makes the black to I don't know whether I'll say fade or disappear any one that I use but it just makes the black to go off so I'm gonna use my layer mask Create a new mirror max and with my brush still set at black. I'm gonna clean some parts of this fire to make it look really good, really good, really good, really good. And I think I'm gonna change this to color bone. Yeah, that's actually what I needed. And I think I'm gonna change this to um okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at um let me leave it at overlay so as you can see there is actually that feel that it has it's actually having that feel which I wanted it to have so I can still work on increasing the flame if I want okay this is actually better then still slowly clear the path so we're almost through with this design but I don't want a case where this is not looking real because I also want to make um, 
um, to make it look real and by making it look real I have to make the flame for example when you're holding a torch or when you're holding a lantern there is a high level at which the light from the lantern reflects off your body so that's what I'm going to be also recreating now let me just adjust this um, this fire a little bit okay okay so I'm okay with that so for that I'm gonna use the same color that I got from the fire to do that so this is actually going to be a free walk just okay just paint around his face for this um, you actually have to use your own knowledge to decipher where the light will be sometimes you can also use um, a touch light to also check you can also use um, different things sometimes to check and to notice where the lights will come from okay let's put a little on the gun okay so for this I'll go for overlay and as you can see it's looking actually nice so the only thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a layer max and clear these areas that came out from that came out on the background so I'll clear this place a little bit 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 and then I'm gonna actually create because I'm gonna actually create more details on the gun not everywhere just a little aspect of the gun then a little bit here then a little bit here and I think that's so Valley. Okay. Then our layer max clean off some parts. And as you can see, we are done with this. This is really looking nice. You can use this for your movie posters, you can use this for album covers, anything you want to use it for. You can actually use it for that. And this is what we have. Um uh, you can go to the comment section to tell me what you feel or maybe what you want me to explain more you know I always drop um, I always drop um, also guides on my telegram on my telegram um, group where I also explain things that I do on my YouTube so you can ask questions do well to drop a comment like this video and also subscribe if you're new to the channel thanks see you next time